what's the look that people give me when they make $16 an hour, work 40 hours a week, I tell them I make what they make in a week in three hours, carpet cleaning. Real quick guys, if you're thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning business, I do offer a step-by-step -step course down below all my videos, there's a link. Not just the technical side of it, but the business side of it. How to get those customers to call you. Also, the tools I love to use, down below also. Now back to the video. All right, first job of the day. It's gonna be sectional and uh, area rug. This is a repeat customer. Actually, this is a vacation rental. We did one yesterday about a quarter mile away. Same, same managers. Uh, the managers and today we're we're doing that so did the estimate over the phone so it's it's actually this is actually going to be a really really easy one because we're not having to do the backing so just a fabric area charging 250 to clean this and then we're doing this rug here uh looks like a looks like a synthetic let's see here yeah, so it's poly. Real easy. So you guys uh, are getting into business before you do area rug cleaning. Even if you bid it over the phone, don't be afraid to walk away from it if you show up and it looks like it might be uh, very temperamental. Like what I mean is fine fabric, uh, something that, that may uh, bleed or, or you just don't have the solutions for. So if it's poly, which 90% of your area rugs are going to be in most residentials, high end though, um, you get a lot of wool and uh, viscose, and viscose is horrible. So if you see, you see viscose, if you, if you pick up the, the label and it says, it says viscose or viscose wool, and you don't have viscose cleaning solution, just pass it up guys, trust me. You, you could be uh, messing up a $2,000 rug. You could come back and figure out how to fix it, which I know how to fix, because I have made the mistake. That's why I'm passing it on. All right, so we're vacuuming. Um, we're gonna get all this set up and get the cleaning. Stay tuned. Oh, I'm loving my new, my new machine, man. Tight and tough.
guys so that's it the road came out good got all the cushions standing up that way it gets nice um air movement in here and uh it's good for drying because if you have it laying against something that back piece is going to take longer to dry and, and yeah you know the obvious right anyway a lot of guys that they're just getting into the business you know they you know, they, they want to know every little detail, just like I did, you know, because we go in there, our first job, we're, we're like nervous wreck. So little stuff like this, little tips like this helps out. That's why I do it. So these um, cushions, they don't have back material. That's why I have it leaning up there. So, so yeah, the, the uh, sectionals were not in bad condition at all being this is a airbnb or a vacation rental i'm sure they'll be happy all right we're off to our next one stay tuned actually don't stay tuned we'll see you in the next one